Okay, y'all, so here in Houston, y'all. Wait, open the blind. So, y'all, here in Houston, it's a hurricane. It's going. It's a hurricane, watch, y'all. And it's going crazy. Get back from the window, girl. We, I think we do gotta take that out. That's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, y'all, look. Y'all can't even see how hard it's going right now. It's gonna mess around and blow that top clean off the playground. No, I don't think so. I think it's like super like tied into the metal. It's just gonna keep blowing it. OMG, get back. OMG, y'all. So y'all, good thing to have a last class for you to watch the movies. But, y'all, this hurricane is crazy like Houston. We just moved in the new crib. Like, what's up with all this, okay? Like, It keeps setting off people's alarms. The pool toe up. The table. Wait, where the table and the chairs? Huh? Oh, it's flipped over the gate. I told you. I didn't even see that, y'all. And then I'm in the group chat. I'm in the group chat, y'all. Yes. With my classmates. And oh my gosh, we talking about the weather like do y'all think the weather is controlled do y'all think the government is doing this my friend just said the government need money you know it's weather control things out here but yeah y'all so we just trying to get through the storm powers off and yeah the kids is watching tv on my laptop i got my hot spot on but i can't have it on for long y'all because i'm gonna need my battery you know i have family in Austin, so I'm gonna have to be texting my mom and updating her, letting her know we all right. We can't just be without no phone, okay? So yeah, y'all, I just want to update y'all that it's a hurricane and it is July 8th, Monday, 8.39. It's been going on since last night, y'all. Last night. But yeah, y'all, we prayed, we covered our home, our children, and we got our Bible on deck, okay? Y'all getting y'all word and getting them prayers, okay? Peace. Hey y'all, so I'm back to update y'all. The hurricane has stopped maybe like two hours ago. Two or three hours ago, y'all. It cleared out, it got sunny or whatever, and my kids are outside with their dad, riding on scooters and stuff. So um, I was just currently editing a vlog that I need to upload, and then I'm about to wash the dishes. I also swept and cleaned and stuff like that. Y'all, we still are without power, so we're still waiting for the power on my phone. It's literally on 1%. It's 757, July 8th. School was canceled today, y'all, as well, because it's like a lot of floods in different areas here in Houston, and as well as a lot of areas are without power. So yeah, so, y'all, I'm just kind of like straining up, washing dishes and stuff like that. And once my kids come inside, they're just gonna take a bath and eat. We're still without power, y'all. So we just basically, uh, we had did a store run earlier. They were out of like all types of water, all that. Well, we really, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, we did not prepare for a hurricane because usually it doesn't affect us. Like where we just moved from, we would get rain, but our power, when I go out, plus we usually will be stocked up on food, but since we literally just moved here, we went groceries for like minor things, but we didn't actually like 
stack up and then yesterday we couldn't stack up because it started raining right after church and we had pulled up to walmart but we didn't even make it in because it was like pouring down so hard and it just was like we were just like nah like let's just make it home before we end up stuck in walmart so yeah y'all we have to just get what we could so um yeah but um it stopped power is still off my husband had drove earlier to areas around here and then it a lot of stores and places were closed so in all honesty i'm just gonna wait and we're just gonna eat the things that we had got and then we'll just um plan to go to the grocery store in the next few days whenever the power and stuff is back on and running because y'all houston y'all been doing too much with this weather and all honesty y'all been doing too much first the tornadoes then the floods now what two three weeks later a hurricane more floods like we did not sign up for this y'all okay so yeah, yeah, I'm just washing these dishes, trying to minimize the junk and the mess. I'm gonna start looking on Amazon for bed frames and a couch because y'all, it is empty in here. We have a kitchen table. We have our TVs. We just need to get one for the kids' room. We need to get bed. We need to get beds and I believe that's all. Just beds and a couch, TV, mount the TVs. And that's really it. But yeah, y'all, I'm so glad this hurricane is over with. I just wish we were actually more prepared and could stock up on groceries but the way everybody went crazy y'all they literally left a lot of people with nothing like like my husband it was not even no bread y'all he has to get these little rolls so and y'all the water was out too they barely the water barely just cut off and hoping that sometime tonight the power comes on, or if not, it'll probably be tomorrow. But I'll get back to y'all and update y'all in the next few days. I was going on peace. The next day, the next day, the next day. Hey y'all, welcome back to this vlog. Y'all, this vlog is all over the place. Today is Tuesday, July 9th, 1141. We are currently still without power, y'all. Still no power. No power here in Houston. A lot of areas are still without power, y'all, and we are one of those areas that have no power. They say that the power should be coming back on later today, if not today, tomorrow, Wednesday. So hopefully it does. School has been canceled yesterday and today which I'm kind of excited about because who's going to be driving and, 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 and there's not really no gas. Everybody has ate up all the gas or gas places are not taking anything but cash. And yeah, lights are out, roads are out. Who's going to take a risk? So I'm glad they canceled school. But y'all, right now my husband took the kids to the park. So they're at the park and I'm just in the house I just prayed over the home, y'all. Read Psalms 91. And I'm just, you know, just basically just being patient, waiting for the power to come back on, y'all. But, man, we need this power back on, y'all. And your girl is hungry. We had got some food from Target the other day, but, y'all, we ate that stuff yesterday. And then this morning... And then now we're needing more food, but none of the gas stations near us are open. 
so like none of the gas stations like for pumps like they're not they're not working um one store at the light they are um accepting cash someone told us but um my husband's probably going to walk there after he comes back from having the kids at the park so yeah y'all um just praying and hoping that the power comes back on today because this is real life. This is real life torture. Like last night, y'all, the whole apartments were like completely dark, black, everything around here, y'all. You did not see nothing. Nothing, guys. Nothing. And I'm just like, bruh, I'm just ready for the power to come back on. Your girl is hungry. Like, I need to go get some fruit so I can rejuice some watermelon and stuff like that. Like, y'all, I need groceries. I need to go grocery shopping. ASAP grocery shopping. That's what I need to do. So, yeah, y'all. So, I'm just waiting for the power to come back on. I don't know if it's going to come back on. And, y'all. Yeah. It's really not much to do, y'all. I've I have laundry to do, a little bit of laundry to do. We still need to mount our TVs. Still have no couch, y'all. Need to get a couch. It's such a nice day out, y'all, but yeah. Still no power. Still no power. But, and then last night, y'all, all we had was this candle to use. And it says, God is within her. She will not fall. Well, she will not fail. So that's all we had last night for, um, to use for, like, light. But next time, y'all, I'm going to fully prepare for anything like this. I'm going to get more candles or those little white candles. They have them at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna get those, y'all, because when it's in times like this, y'all, you need lights, okay? If you ain't got no power, make sure you keep candles on decks, even if it's just those small ones. Keep those on deck as well. But yeah, y'all, so. I'm about to just look on my phone, scroll on my phone, and pray and hope that the electricity come back on soon. I'll get back to y'all with an update. Hopefully, I'll get back to y'all once we hit up a grocery store and all the power is back on. Okay? Peace. We finally found a gas station that was open. And we've been in this line for so long. So many cars, y'all. We've been in this line. We finally got up to the front, literally, like, now. And they got some food trucks. So we're gonna go to that food truck after we get some gas so that we can get some food. But y'all, this hurricane, we was not prepared. But also, the government needs to get it together, okay? They need to get some type of generators or get some type of thing to where, or what is it, Um, like some better power lines and stuff to where by just rain and wind, it ain't gonna just knock out. But y'all, we finally finna get some gas and these food trucks and i'll get back to y'all when we eating like look how many people is out here y'all like and then it's like longer lines behind us like this is so crazy so crazy the next day the next day the next day go jordan oh wow What? The next day, the next day, the next day. Wait, you can hold my hand. Jump in there. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Hi. What are we doing today? Where, we, where are we? Look at the camera. You gotta talk at the camera. Where are we? We at Sam's. Are we getting? First. Okay, not those kind though. Wait. 
Wait, what kind is this? Yeah, we could get this one. Look at Jordan! Look at Jordan! I'm getting this bread to make like some really good sandwiches. Um, yeah. And now we're headed to get some more things. We got these kids on there. That's a cute couch. Yeah. You didn't even feel it. Oh, look, they have a wagon. Okay, wait, let's go over here first. Yeah. Get it. Get it. There's 15 packs on the go. We got the gummies and that. You can take them on the go and stuff. But make sure you do that neatly. Turn the Gatorade's probably like sideways. Yeah. And then stack those boxes up. Yeah. Okay, what else? I don't think I need anything else from over here. So we're gonna turn around. Yeah, but we don't need that. That's unnecessary. We're just trying to stock up on some snacks and stuff. Popsicles? Yeah, I see. We could do this one. Maybe let's move this over here. Yeah, they look good. What, you want it? No. We're gonna get these, y'all. Never got them from here. I do like these, though. So, yeah. What else? All right, come on, guys. Our mini cereal. No, we're not getting that. We're getting big cereal. Y'all was just talking about lamb chops and they have some. But what is pastry fed? Pastry fed. Right here on the front. Pasture fed. What that mean? Grass. No, it won't say grass. Pasture. So, is this good or is this bad? Because wasn't they without power? I don't know. I think they were without power. No, I don't think they were without power. Why that one 30? That one must be bad, huh? Yeah, it might be because of expiration. I never so, had these. This one say, say about July 22nd. Same thing. So we get it? Yeah, well, it. that one look different from this one. That one just got more meat. A lot of these got more meat. And what you do, you have to cut them? No, they already separated, I think. I think they just got a packet or something. Yeah. Should we get them? You want to? Or we could wait. I want to try them. Get back in the cart. Ooh, this look good, y'all. Don't eat pork. So I'm thinking these, cause they look really good. 
Somebody grab some apples. Grab these apples. Wait, no, no, no. Them not. Them got. Them not apples. What are those? No, them are something else. What is it? We get them plump. I think. I don't know. Oh, those nectarines. Let's go around to the other fruits. Go. Y'all got a thousand snacks already. I want protein. Mia, say what's up? What we doing? Where we at? Where we doing? Where we at? Getting groceries? Y'all, my friend told me about these protein ones, so I'm gonna get them. What? Yeah, we're gonna get this one. Y'all want these? The Danimal ones? No, these. The cup ones. No, there's not a lot in there. Let's do these because they're cups so you can easily grab them and drink them. Get this one, Jordan. This one to be happy. Yeah. You got it. You strong. You got it. Good job, Ava. Okay. Mama, we got you. Okay. What well, up? Uh, look how big our how stacked our cart is. How much I think this gonna be? Well, how much you think it's gonna be, Jordan? Twenty-seven dollars? No, that's that's not true. It's gonna be like five, six hundred. What you see here? It's so, so damn. Okay. A show guess? Okay. Good job, baby. Good job. Hey y'all, it's your girl Asia and I'm back again y'all. We survived the hurricane, like we survived. We went without power for four days. I know I skipped like updating y'all two of the days I think, or one of the days, I'm not sure. It was either one or two of the days y'all. That was very torturing. No power, no food, cause all our food went bad. Um, On top of us just moving here, we didn't get to really stock up yet and then as soon as a few days, like, I think it was like a day after. No, I think it was like, what, a few days after we had the hurricane. So we didn't even get a chance to prepare for the, um, like we didn't get the chance to prepare, but I feel like it was also good that we didn't stock up because we, all of our food would've went bad. So that's kind of good, but y'all, we survived the hurricane. It was four days without power. We had to make the best of that of it. It was no gas stations open, no food places, nothing, like at all. Um, the first day of us um, being in the hurricane storm or whatever, Target was open. We got a few things from Target, like some canned goods and stuff like that, like tuna and stuff like that. But that was really about it, y'all. They didn't have anything. They didn't have no water, no nothing. Um, yeah, but we survived it, y'all. We had to go to the park. We had to um, go eat at a food truck like the like a day ago, I think, or two days ago. Um, a gas station, two gas stations finally opened, and then it was um, some food trucks around, so we were able to eat some hot food and make the best out of it, y'all. Um, right now, we just went and we stocked up on groceries. Um, as you guys are gonna see the, the clips before this, us at Sam's, y'all, we got quite a few things. Like, we stocked up a lot, we have a lot of things. The crazy thing is, is like, this is our freezer space. fit 
like the freezer things we do have, how are we gonna fit? But yeah, y'all, I'll get back to y'all to show y'all everything that we got once my husband brings the rest of the stuff in. I'll give y'all a quick haul and then I'll show y'all me stocking up the fridge. Stay tuned. So, my husband brought in some more things right there. That crap is going in the trash right there. But y'all, I'm gonna start off with, I guess I'll start with the snacks since it's already near me. Um, yeah. So, first y'all, we got, first let me tell y'all how much we spent. We spent, we spent $614. We spent 614 and I'm gonna start with the snacks first. So, first we got this classic mix. Then these Minion gummies, little bites. We got these Miss Vicky's variety mix. This flavor mix, Frito Lays. This is a Sabrita and Gamesa flavor mix. This is, my husband loves lightsabers, so. We never have their noodles, but since we just moved, we have a microwave now. So I got some like quick cup noodle ones so that like if the kids are hungry, eat a quick snack and they don't, or we don't feel like making them anything, hey, cup noodles on deck. So then we got some mozzarella sticks these danimals as y'all saw my other sound we got this jimmy dean's turkey breakfast because y'all once you stock up on groceries you need to make sure you get a good amount so you don't be having to go out and, and eat out this is another way of saving your coins if you buy enough food to where you can make food at home breakfast lunch dinner all of that snacks you know if you get all the things you need you won't have to quickly go get fast food, quickly go, you know, get quick food that you're gonna spend a lot of money on. It's no need for that. So stop up on your groceries and start cooking your meals for you and your family. Get breakfast stuff so you can make breakfast stuff and not have to go to Starbucks and all of that. And all those other little breakfast places. Girl, get your stuff and make your stuff at home. Okay. My kids are like, mommy, can we please get these so y'all won't have to make us peanut butter and jelly? And they're right, I'm tired of wasting my bread on making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, okay? So we got the Uncrustables. Go, go, squeeze. Really wanted to try these chow mein noodles, y'all, because your girl, before the hurricane, I was eating healthy. The hurricane made me have to eat bad because that, that was the only things out there, okay? So I'm trying to get back on my eating good stuff. So I got these noodles because I feel like it could be like a quick little lunch or I can maybe use it for dinner. I've been intaking my protein. So um, a friend of mine has told me about this brand of uh, protein yogurt and it's 15 grams. So I was like, I saw it today at Sam's. So I was like, okay, bit it's hot. So we got the kids some more popsicles. Two more protein stuff we got. This is 30 bars, protein. This is peanut butter dark chocolate and it's 10 grams of protein, gluten free, six grams of fiber, which is good, y'all. Um, this is Frosty Flake Strawberry Milkshake. My kids really liked these when we got them last time. And they were like, can we please get them again? So hey, boom, we got them. Then they also like these, Captain Crunch. So 